Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. Morten Ostad here with another unboxing. I got myself yet another order from, or via, I should say, Discogs. But before we uh, dig into this, if you would please click like and subscribe. That helps my channel move along and it makes me happy. Yes, still in Denmark, as you can see, Christmas lights are still up. Although this video will most likely be posted when all of this has been packed away. Had a lovely Christmas and I hope you have had one as well. So, yeah, let's see what we get here. This is from a Danish bookseller and it is um, one of the records in here I bought because of uh, uh, something that happened a couple of weeks ago, three or four weeks ago maybe by now, uh, and that was the passing of, uh, you know, Danny Lane. So uh, I uh, have uh, wanted to have some of the Danny Lane's records I thought I did have one um, here, actually, in Denmark, but I, I couldn't find it. It's um, the one with the it's a horse on the cover. But um, this is Japanese Tears. Remove that sticker, um, post-it sticker. Um, Japanese Tears, I suppose, is his best-known solo uh, work. Um, bit of a controversy when it came out. It uh, was released um, in 1980. Yeah, I don't remember now. I think it was 1980. Uh, after that attempted Wings tour of Japan, which of course ended up being a disaster, Paul McCartney being nabbed in, the co in customs with uh, some herb <clears throat> type uh, plants uh, or pro products in his luggage and ending up in jail. Uh, there was a high drama. Uh, would he be? Was it, well, he's uh, seems, appeared to be uh, in big trouble, and then of course when uh, when he did get out and get uh, got back, um, oh, I'm trying to remember the chronology and uh, what of course there wasn't any more wings, but no one knew, and no one was told, and the members, the other members, um, the other three members, including Denny was left in a bit of a limbo. Uh, McCartney 2 was recorded and released, but I, I, I'm, I don't remember the chron chronology of that. And then uh, he started recording, Paul started recording um, Tug of War. Uh, and the initial demos uh, he worked on included Danny Lane. And then I don't think that he heard anything more from Paul. And um, for what it's worth, uh, I suppose Wings was formally terminated around the time it was 10 years old. So yeah, uh, Japanese Tears came out in 1980, yeah. And, uh, but I don't, I don't think there was any intent, intent of malice or anything. Uh, so, but uh, and and of course there are there are um, McCartney contributions on here, or at least one. Send me the heart. So I'm really looking forward to finally hearing, um, listening to this. Now I, I did order one uh, other album uh, with with this order, and I think. I think the reason was that the Danny Lane record was so cheap. Um, the seller had a, you know, 
I think I, I don't think the seller would the, the order wouldn't go through unless I uh, reached a certain amount. And uh, yeah, I'm just gonna bring you the post-it from this one as well. This is one I wanted for many years, and I never sort of jumped the gun. And I've seen it in the wild. Well, in, when I visited UK and been to record stores there, it's uh, uh, not the nine o'clock news. So you've got your Rowan Atkinson, Griff, Boris Jones, Mel Smith, and of course, Pamela Stevenson. I, uh, I absolutely love not uh, the nine o'clock news. Um, I watched it. I watched. Uh, I have a couple of DVDs, but the whole series was never released on DVD. Uh, there are two sort of best of DVDs. Uh, that's about it. And um, if you want to see whole proper episodes badly, they're out there on YouTube. And um, I was six years old, I think, when they started doing this. Um, yeah, I think so. Uh, but I, I do remember certain aspects, and of course I learned various things about history and British politics and so on at the time these were made. But if you have no knowledge of that, it's, it's going to be a bit of a tough watch because a lot of it is very dated, of course, by now. Oh, uh, look at this. I, I don't think I've ever... I don't think I own any record with a BBC label. <laughs> oh. What's that? No, nope, that's on my screen. I thought it was, thought it was on, something on the record. That's actually my my screen that has a well, not the screen, but the the protection cover is starting to crack. No, so take good care of your micro micro grew records. Okay, records, records. I'm starting to speak like I'm saying records. Are you touching my records? Anyway, this bit of fun. Not to nine o'clock news and um, Danny Lane. And look, they match. They're both in black and white, except there's a tiny bit of red there. So, yeah, there's a thumbnail. <gasps> look, it's all British. It's English. Well, not entirely. Uh, Rowan is. No, I'm sorry, it's not Rowan. Um, Griff. It's Welsh. There we are. A couple of late 70s, early 80s records there. Um, thank you for watching. Please click like and subscribe. Hope to see you soon in another video. Bye.